What up guys, Victor here. Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday. Now this week I wanted to do something that's actually been really highly requested on this channel and that is my $10,000 rod and reel arsenal. Now I'm not throwing that $10,000 figure out to boast or brag or anything, but I have been fishing since I was 16 and in a decade of fishing this is what I have collected and these are the things that work for me. So what I'm going to do with this video is I don't want to be another boring rod and reel, rod and reel arsenal where I just go ahead and illustrate them. I want to kind of have it like a story time where I share with you guys my favorite catch and what you guys could use these rod and reels for. So whether or not you guys are just interested in the stuff that I have collected or you want to know some information such as I get so many questions, what's the best kingfish setup, what's the best snook setup, what's the best shark setup, this video is for you guys. I will go and reveal to you what works for what situation. Starting with my all time favorite thing to do which is land based shark fish, we're going to go with the old school 14er right here. Now this bad boy actually kind of got me started into YouTube because when my hammerhead video went viral I caught a 13 to 14 foot hammerhead on this reel right here. I um, originally had it on this rod right here so this reel and that rod. Now the 14 is a beast. Tiger sharks, bull sharks, uh, giant hammerheads I've caught on it. That is one shark setup and this rod right here actually I caught my biggest tiger shark on. Now here's the newest addition to the shark family. Here is my Avid 80 wide absolutely love this reel even though I have not caught anything on it yet I just got it um, midsummer and I know it's gonna be a good reel when the sharks are around this is the rod that I told you guys about this is my go-to shark rod I absolutely love this thing it is a black fin blank and I want you guys to meet someone special these are my Avid 50s ones on a straight butt ones on a bent butt now these are kind of staples when it comes to big game offshore fishing whether you guys want to use these for planers high-speed wahoo troll uh, you want to drop down on wrecks, you want to deep drop, you can even deep drop with them. These are two speed reels that offer you a lot of drag, a lot of line capacity. You can troll with them, you can do so much. 50 size reels are probably the most versatile reel you can have in your arsenal offshore. Now the blanks that I have them on, these rods right here, these are Conley 50 to 100 uh, pound blanks. They're six foot rods, they got a Winthrop tip love this rod had him custom built by a guy that I know if you guys want his information comment down below because I have the rod hookup now um, you guys see that one's a straight butt one's a bent butt there's different applications for that when you're straight butt fishing you're, you're generally either gonna be fighting it right here like this so in your hip you're generally not gonna have it in the rod holder unless you're planer fishing it's very important to have a straight butt when you're planer fishing I can use this for stand-up tuna style fishing anything that's why I really wanted to get these guys they were a, a big investment but they are reels and rods that will last you years and you kind of need them for the offshore stuff favorite thing I've caught on them so far it's probably those big AJ's we got in spring have not gotten to fish them that much yet now the bent butt though the bent butt what it allows you to do is even though a lot of people think it's cheating you put it in the rod holder and you use instead of you working against the rod you're using the reel as more of a winch you're letting the boat take some of the stress off you and you it, it seems boring but you kind of need it in a lot of different applications especially when dropping down big baits for those ages let's move on to the longest rod in the arsenal here I have a tsunami trophy series surf rod have not gotten to fish it that much yet I got it at the tail end of the black tip migration but I will be using this a lot during the mullet run surf fishing um, black tip fishing it's actually a very affordable rod check it out oh and by the way anything that does have a link or anything that I can find I will post a link in the description box below for all the rods and reels you guys see in this video now here is one of my favorite combos I have a pen Baja special 4 size reel very ver versatile I have used it for everything from swimming out baits on the beach to catch black tips snook kingfish offshore bonita it does it all I even caught my very first goliath grouper on this reel right here very versatile holds a lot of line with a lot of drag like these reels a lot now I have it on an 8 foot 6 I don't know the style rod I just found it in a tackle shop in Jupiter but this is my go-to big live bait snook rod now I get a lot of questions about snook rods and the thing is is there's not really a big market for snook rods a lot of times you have to have things custom made but if you guys are looking for a big live bait snook rod you need to be looking at anywhere from 8 to 10 foot fiberglass blanks in that 50 to 80 um, 80 to 100 pound rating love this thing right here 
Right here I have one of the oldest reels in my arsenal. It is a pink Avid MXL. This is the very first generation MXLs that came out over 10 years ago. And um, it's a little rough, but you guys, anyone who's wondering about Avid's, everyone talks smack about Avid's. This reel, you guys have seen me fish day in and day out. It puts in work. Avid's are built to last for years and years and years. In 10 years, I have had this reel serviced once and it still reels butter smooth. It makes a little bit of noise, but it works. Now, a lot of people on this channel, I know you guys are into the offshore stuff. So, an, an, uh, an MXL, an LX, anything in that 3.0 to 4.0 size range is perfect for the offshore stuff for live bait rod, for live bait reels. Now, a lot of people ask about what kind of rods and reels I fished offshore. When you're live baiting, you want to be in that 6.6 six to 7 foot range, 20 to 40, 20 to 30 pound rod class. Right here is just a very simple star rod. It's a 7 foot rod. It's a live bait rod. Caught a lot of fish on it. My favorite thing on this right here, on this reel, probably way back in the pier days, in the long hair don't care days, I caught my very first kingfish off a of pier on this reel right here, and it's still going strong. Another thing, this is an orange Avid MXL, same thing as that pink one, just a different color. Caught a lot of fish on this as well, got it about two years after that pink one. Now, everyone's always asking about snook rods. That rod I just showed you guys, that 8.6 was a custom rod. This right here is a production style rod. This is a star rod, it's a deluxe, 40 to 50 pound. Very good beginning snook setup rod for live bait, at the pier, at the bridge, whatever you guys want to do. They're right around 100 bucks. Star rods come with a lifetime warranty. I'm not affiliated with them. I've been fishing star rods my whole life. They are great rods. Um, I caught my two biggest snook actually on this rod right here. Here is another star rod in the lineup. Star rods, if you guys are watching, I'd love a sponsorship. Now, this is an eight foot star rod paired with my Saragossa. This is a reel that I fished a lot during the mullet run last year. You guys definitely, all you older subs, you definitely have seen this reel. My favorite catch was not actually a catch on this, but last year during the mullet run, I hooked something absolutely monstrous, got spooled about two times, got all my line back, and got my heart broken about five feet from the beach. The hook just pulled, or I think I got frayed off, but this is an 8000 Saragossa, perfect for live baiting for snook, perfect for jigging. Perfect for throwing topwater lures, for plugs, an 8 foot rod, good for throwing for uh, lighter live bait applications, for throwing jigs, lures. If you guys are looking for a very efficient snook rod, a lighter snook rod, you can't go wrong with any of the 8 foot star series. What do you know? Two more star rods. Now I don't have reels on these because these are my jigging rods right here. I usually put my Saragosas on them when I go jigging offshore. You guys. You're looking for a cheap, affordable rod that you guys can break and beat the crap out of and still have a lifetime warranty. Star Rod Aerial, once again, not affiliated with them. I just really like their products. These guys, I believe, were 80 bucks. Um, very stout. Brooke actually caught her biggest fish, her biggest amberjack, on one of these rods right here. Very good rods. Highly recommend them. We're throwing it back way old school. Here is my Penjig Master. Now guys, a lot of you younger viewers, you probably grew up in the generation now where everyone's got these colorful reels, silver, pink, orange, blue, everyone's fishing Avid these days. This was the Avid back in the day. This was what everyone had on a pier. It's the Penjig Master. It's been around forever. It's a $60 reel. It was the very first thing I fished on a pier. You can, it's, it's going strong after 10 years. These reels never need to be serviced. They're just very good. Um, all around reels, caught plenty of snook on them, kingfish on them, muttons, uh, keys bridges, trips on them. Everything has been caught on this reel. It's not the smoothest, it's not the fastest, but they are very good for what they are. Now, I get also asked a lot of questions about pier rods. Now, back in the day when I used to fish Deerfield Pier a lot, trolley rigging was the thing to do, testing out bottom rods. And I know you guys can't see it fully in the frame, but this is a nine foot custom rod that I have right here probably in that 20 to 40 pound class range. Um, this is what you guys would really need if you're starting into pier fishing. Casting out trolley rigs, cast them out bottom rigs. Um, find yourself a good fiberglass blank and go with it. Funny thing about this rod and reel is I'm holding one in my hand. I did have two and you guys have seen that in the videos. But one day while Brooke and I were driving back from Jupiter, I left it in the T-top. Big wave came, flew out, 
nothing we could do. We never found it. But this is a Daiwa BG paired up with, yet again, another 7 foot star rod. Still not sponsored, but I'm still promoting the heck out of you guys because you guys have great products. This is a $70 live bait rod. We'll put the link in the description box below. You guys, this, this combo right here, if you're getting into offshore fishing, you guys have a boat, or you're doing any type of live bait fishing, the reel right here, 90 bucks. The rod right here, 70 bucks. $160 combo, that's unheard of these days. Most reels are running in the $200 range. I cannot brag enough about the Daiwa BG series, guys. Not sponsored by Daiwa or anything. I actually just did a review on it. That um, link will be in the description box below. I absolutely love the Daiwa BG series. This reel went swimming with me um, while fishing a mullet school. I've caught sailfish on it, tuna, dolphin, kings, everything you could possibly imagine. These reels are badass reels. Check them out. Next thing on the list is my Shimano Saragossa 10,000. Now this reel has done a lot of work. I just recently caught my first permit off a bridge on it. Brooke has caught AJ's on it, caught plenty of snook on it, um, kingfish, use it for jigging a lot. They're good reels. Um, I don't know if I'd buy a Saragossa ever again with me bragging about those BGs because BGs are half the price and I don't see the disparity of $150, $160. I don't think this reel is worth that much more than a Daiwa BG, so I'm going to leave it at that. Now, the, re the rod that I have this on, now I'm not going to lie, I did team up with Tackle Industries. This rod was sent to me for free, but I'm giving you guys my honest review. I have not done an actual review video on it yet, but so far, guys, I love these rods. The guy who owns the company's name is James. He stands behind, behind his lifetime warranty. Everyone on the channel who's asking about snook rods, you guys, this is the most affordable, badass snook jigging rod you guys can possibly find. If you're getting into the new, in, into the jigging spool tech scene, you guys like to throw artificial for snook. Tackle Industries just came out with an 8.6, 9 foot spinning rod. They have the casting series. The, these rods are $180. Where are you going to find a a rod fully built for snook, which is a very niche market. If you guys wanted a rod like this custom built, it's going to be in the f anywhere from $350 to $400, and you're not going to get a lifetime warranty. These rods, highly recommend. I absolutely love them. He makes his own guides. He doesn't even use other guide companies. He has inserts that are never going to crack on you, and if they do, guess what? He's got a lifetime warranty. Now we got some lighter stuff going on. Here is a Shimano Sedona. I have done a reel review on this reel, and I love it. It's a $50 reel, and it works great. Um, I have dunked this reel completely underwater, had to oil it a couple times. My favorite catch was probably, I got two really big snook, well, big four this size reel while wade fishing, and they should not have been landed. I was going in and out of mangroves, and I honestly thought I was going to lose them. I have it paired with a rod that you don't really see that much anymore. I don't even know if they make this. This is a... 6.6 six red bone. It's a very just light uh, 6 to 12 pound class action and perfect for throwing little jigs, crappie jigs. Um, if you guys are looking for a cheap weight setup, right here. This setup is probably right around 100 bucks. Uh, a good bait rod, good just light tackle rod and reel combo right here. Now what I got in my hands is my bass and snake head setup. I don't do a lot of bass and snakehead fishing, so I'm not going to go crazy overboard with this. What I have here is a Daiwa Laguna. This is a baitcaster that's only $60, and you know what? It's, it's worth $60. It's not very smooth. It makes a lot of noise, but it works. So if you guys are looking for a cheap baitcaster that works, look no more, but it is, it's a $60 reel at the end of the day. Now, the rod that I have here... I'm not much into bass fishing. I don't know what I really should be looking for, but as the rod was recommended to me, it is a Dobbins Fury Series 7.6 rod. It gets the job done. I don't really know what more to look for. It had a um, warranty with it too, so I picked it up. I can't complain. All right, guys, winding down now. What I have in my hand is my Stratic 4000. Love this reel. Paired with, yet again, another star rod. Now, let me tell you a funny story about this. Um, the most recent video I put out of when I went to the Keys and did some bridge fishing and we caught permit, we were out of crabs, there was permit everywhere, and the only thing we had in our tackle boxes that the permit would eat 
is this right here. This is a DOA shrimp, and permit are known to only eat shrimp and crabs. So, what did I do? I got this 4000 set up right here. I pitched it into the school of permit, and I was so upset because I didn't get it on video. You guys, I was this close to landing probably a 20 to 25 permit, pound permit, on a bridge, on a freaking artificial lure, on this reel right here. That is my most memorable hookup catch, I guess you could say, on this. And this is just uh, your average seven foot star rod. It is eight to 17 pound, um, good yellow tailing setup, good light jigging setup, uh, casting pilchards off the beach with very affordable rod. The reel is a little bit pricey, but I, um, I really do enjoy the Stratic series, so I recommend it. Now last but not least, I have Vexen Fishing Rods. These rods were sent to me by the same guy, James, who owns Tackle Industries. Now I have not gotten to fish these rods a lot yet, but some first glance things I can tell you. Um, they are very light. Um, if you guys are looking for an inshore rod, check them out. And unlike a lot of other rod companies these days, Vexen stands behind their lifetime warranty. There's very few rod companies these days besides Star Rods that I know of that will actually stand behind a rod warranty throughout its life. It's basically unheard of. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more questions, you want something a little bit more in depth, you want a review, go ahead and comment that below. These are the rods and reels that I have accumulated over the last 10 years. Wasn't trying to brag with that $10,000 figure, just kind of wanted to give you a real idea of what it takes to do the many different types of things that I do. You know, that's what I love about this channel and this community, guys, is I get to show you guys, um, you know, how I learn things, how I approach different fisheries. I had never weighed fished in my life in 25 years before this winter. But guess what? We figured it out. It wasn't that bad. So it's cool to show you guys the different rods and reels that I use for so many different types of things. And that's why... I love our channel, I love the little community that we've built because we do everything from the land-based shark stuff, offshore stuff, the tackle reviews, we do it all. So if you guys like this video, please do me a favor, give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys don't hit it, you're missing out big time because we're just getting started. The land shark train is rolling ahead and we got a lot of great content coming for you guys. So stay salty and I'll see you in that next Tackle Tuesday. Here is a gump truck.